Uh, now, another approach to mini IVF for women that have a huge number of eggs or PCOS is what I call the Denmark mini IVF because the concept of it came from Denmark. And that would be instead of relying on an endogenous minor increase in FSH and LH from your pituitary gland, we would give you exogenously a low dose of FSH and a low dose of the equivalent of LH. And uh, I think that approach is somewhat better if someone has a high ovarian reserve. And that I call that the Denmark mini IVF. I no longer think that any conventional stimulation with large doses is a good idea. Uh, there is a huge study uh, that uh, came out uh, a few years ago, in fact, by Baker et al. that compared 650,000 SART cycles, that's in the United States, uh, 650,000 cycles, and they did a rigorous, beautiful uh, multivariate analysis, statistical analysis, and they found that the live baby rate per cycle is inversely proportional to the total dose of gonadotropin. So the more gonadotropin, the lower the live baby rate per cycle. Now, you could maybe make the argument that, well, those are patients that have more eggs. Well, no, because they controlled in their multivariate analysis for the number of eggs and the age of the patient and controlling for all those confounding factors, the lower the dose of the gonadotropin, the higher was the live baby rate for eggs. Thank you.